Hey guys, Lee here, Theme Park Ohana. I'm here at Sicky's Garage, a place Jen said she would never eat. Um, and I have a couple hours break between strollers and I've always wanted to try this place only just because the name Sicky's. I like, it's, to me, it's like, hey, I ate at Sicky's. I think it's really cool. So why don't we head inside? We'll have some lunch. I'll show you the menu. I'll show you what I order and eat and tell you what I think. And I'll give you a, a look at the atmosphere, which from the outside going in, it looks really good. So follow the adventure. Stay tuned to the end of the video for a very special offer. So I already love the menu here with the old car, the old uh, gas pump. Sickiesburgers.com. Sickies Garage Burgers and Brews. Now they have wings too, so I'm thinking wings for lunch. Let's just go over the menu a little bit. They have uh, two different buns, regular gluten-free, regular gluten-free pretzel parmesan and pepper bun and then they have patty choices of chicken veggie and american kobe beef if you want the kobe it's an extra five dollars i guess for whatever burger you get but they have a whole bunch of different burgers here like the wild hog philly garage beyond meat burger hot rod carport sunless chopper blown tire extraordinary and the sickies burger that's probably like Oh, that's just this is what the picture is here. Pepper, bacon, fried egg, pulled pork, barbecue. Wow, man, that is like a heart attack on a bun. Hi, sir. How are you? All right, so I'm torn between the Reuben and this extra cheesy buffalo chicken sandwich. Spread it in fried chicken, tossed in buffalo sauce, topped with pepper jack cheese, mac and cheese, and spicy ranch dressing. I always do Rubens, and I'm gonna bring Jen back here, so I think I'll do a Reuben then. I think today I'm gonna do the crispy, or the extra cheesy buffalo chicken sandwich. And I'll do the sweet potato fries or onion rings. I haven't decided on that yet. So they have baskets. They have a fish and chips basket, chicken strip basket, shrimp basket. Dad would love the fish and chips basket. Jeremy would probably like the shrimp basket. They do have a kids menu, $6.99. Oh, that's not bad. Chicken strips, little burger, little cheeseburger, grilled mac and cheese, uh, grilled cheese, mac and cheese, mini corn dogs, PB and J. They have root beer floats. They have different adult shakes. I thought it said they had wings, and then they do have lunch specials daily. Oh, they do have a boneless wings basket, but I don't think I want that. I thought they had like real wings. I'm not, I'm not a big fan of spaghetti fries. So I'm definitely, if I do fries, it's going to be um, the sweet potato fries, or I might just do onion rings. Now I got a choice to make. They have different slick sandwiches like the Reuben. Hmm, that might be what I'm going with. What does this serve with, with your choice of side and seasoning? Uh, Monte Cristo, slick beef and cheese. They have a hot beef sandwich. This stuff all looks amazing. Now the atmosphere is really cool. It's very, it's very much like Fords. They have like car parts, but they have other random stuff like uh, license plates. There's a, a Raven ski, a hubcap, uh, a stuffed deer. I like the picture of the Ferrari there. They also have NHL center ice here. So if you're an NHL fan and you live in the area, this is a good place to come watch the hockey games we got hockey everywhere but there is so much stuff here to see it's pretty wild like i love that the seats in these booths almost seem like an old like 57 chevy bench seat um behind me they have a full bar and there is a lot of beer on top if you like beer right now it's just lunchtime so it's not very busy this place is awesome though
So silly me started eating my fries before they're really good before I started filming. So I went with the sweet potato fries and it comes with like a cinnamon salt. Very, very good. These are some of the best sweet potato fries I've ever had. The sandwich is still hot. I haven't dug into that, but it's a piece of buffalo chicken with pepper jack cheese and macaroni and cheese on top. And look at this bottle of ketchup. It's so awesome. I love this. So I'm gonna try the chicken and I'll let you know what I think, but it looks very appealing. All right, so I already devoured all the sweet potato fries. They were the best sweet potato fries I've ever had in my life. Look at how cheesy this sandwich is. It's like oozing out from every chicken orifice. And it is very good. I like the buffalo sauce. <clears throat> it's spicy, but not like overly spicy, which I'm kind of surprised because it does have pepper jack cheese. I'm just wondering if I didn't really get into the pepper jack cheese yet. Now my favorite thing, I'm not a huge pickle fan. I didn't even have to ask. The pickles were on the side already. If only Jen were here, these pickles would already be gone, but she's not. All right, so they have a very limited dessert menu. And by the way, that lunch, I destroyed my plate. Like I ate, she already took it. There was nothing left. I ate all the fries. I left none of the sandwich. The only thing left on the actual tray was the pickles, which I didn't even try them only because I, as I get older, I don't like pickles as much as I used to. It's really weird. I'm such a bizarre person, but they have these different shakes and floats and I'm going to get, they have a story about this place, why it's called Sickies, which is going to be interesting for Jen because um, that's one of the reasons she doesn't want to eat here. It's because of the name of the place. All right, give me one second. I got to find it. So bear with me as I'm gonna read Sicky's story. It's in the early 2000s, a group of like-minded friends would just meet up and tinker on their projects such as motorcycles and cars or just a talk shop. Grilling at the garage sparked a new avenue for creativity along the friends to craft experimental burgers with unusual toppings. The family and friends were excited to try. Testing the newest burgers at the garage, which quickly became known as Sicky's Garage, was often the reason to play hooky from work by calling in sick. So basically it's Sicky's because they used to call in sick to hone their craft of making different burgers. And it even says here, the offering grew into an arm's length list of 50 burgers. I think they have more than 50 burgers here, which is wild. There was, there's like, if you take the menu, so there's the appetizers. Oh, they, oh, I missed the whole chicken wings page. They do have regular chicken wings, but you get to the burgers, there's, a, there's one, two, Three, th three pages of burgers. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. There's at least 40 burgers here. And they have different sandwiches and chicken sandwiches too, but that's really cool. It's called Sickies because they used to call in sick to work, to work on their burgers and like make design craft burgers. That is such a great story. Okay, so they have funnel cake fries, which look really good. Hot, crispy funnel cake sweetness. That's seven ninety nine. They have a caramel butter cake, rustic brown cake made with a uh, brown butter cake made with brown butter and cream cheese, topped with vanilla ice cream and caramel drizzle. Jen would probably like that. I'm not sure. I am going to try the New York cream brulee cheesecake. Now I told her to bring it with a container because I'm pretty full. I'm just going to taste it and show you guys what it looks like. So I almost did it again. I almost started eating it before I filmed. But look at that. That looks so good. Like caramel drizzle over cheesecake. Ooh, baby. And here's a look. I think, I, oh yeah, I did show you guys the dessert menu. But man, and like I said, I told her to bring me a container because I don't think I'm gonna be able to eat even half of this. So let's dig in. I'll tell you guys what I think. Okay, this is just as good as lunch was. The caramel is hot over top of cold cheesecake. This may be the best cheesecake I've ever had. I gotta say, I cannot tell you enough what a great experience I'm having here for lunch. The food has been amazing. And the server, Serena, she's been amazing. So uh, I definitely recommend this place. If Just try it once. Uh, this is a definite must try. So really cool, they actually have a gift shop on the way out. You can get different shirts and different stickies memorability. Oh, they even have like a license plate. This is really cool. I really like this place. 
This is definitely a must do on vacation. I cannot say enough good things about Siki's Garage. They have a huge menu. The staff was amazing. I talked to the manager on my way out because I wanted to give Serena a little shout out. Um, she was very apprehensive. She probably thought I was going to complain, but I had this, I really needed to pull her aside and tell her how amazing her server was. Um, but the food, delicious. I destroyed, I never finish a whole meal. Never, ever, 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 ever. There was nothing left on my plate except for those two pickles. Um, I even had dessert and I never do dessert. Now I didn't eat much of it. I had like maybe four or five bites, but it was really, really good. Next time, I'm definitely going to do the Reuben. I talked Jen into coming back, so we're going to be doing this again. So I'll be doing the Reuben. I'm going to do onion rings. Or they said the tater tots are really good here, too. And I want to try those funnel cake, funnel cake fries. But, guys, Sicky's Garage here on 192. It's right outside of Disney. Um, it's actually like a mile from the Animal Kingdom. So I highly recommend it. I, I'm holding the camera, or I'd give it two thumbs up. Um, definitely a must-do on vacation if you're going to eat off property and you have a car and you want to come over here. I would, if you like burgers and you like the automotive theme, very good experience. I really enjoyed it. I can't say it enough. I'm, I'm probably beating it to death. Anyway, if you enjoyed the video, give it a big thumbs up. Appreciate it. If you guys aren't subscribed, please do. That way you never miss out on the next adventure. Thank you so much for watching. And now we're on to the next adventure, which for me is another stroller delivery. Bye, guys. Lunch was amazing. Today's video brought to you by Orlando for Families. For amazing prices and even better customer service on all of your stroller rental needs for your Orlando vacation, visit them at the website listed below, www.orlandoforfamilies.com. Use the promo code OHANA to save 15% off of their already competitive prices.